Hello, I hope you're doing well. Welcome back to more Fortnite news. Of course, this past week, it was a bit of a doozy for a few players out there, one in particular being Luminosity Gaming or former LG member Creo. If you guys have somehow not heard about the viral videos by the Fortnite guy, eventually leading to the kicking from the organization of Creo from Luminosity Gaming, a pretty sad story until you hear the details of that. I will link two videos down below for all of you. Those are the screenshots as well as the recordings I'll be showing all of you today. I do want to say, though, there is, of course, some pretty good evidence against him of his first account of scamming a kid known as Noah. The second account, though, of him scamming a kid named Oliver, the evidence out there is kind of circumstantial. I think people really bandwagoned against him. I will first say that his actions he did take in the first instance of scamming was pretty uh, pretty terrible, to say the least. He was very scummy with his responses and only seemed to apologize because the video did go viral. I think after all looking at the, all the evidence, all the screenshots of what he said in the past, of course, no notoriously now his Discord messages making fun of free agents, and now he is a free agent after being dismissed from Luminosity, it seems kind of ironic and it seems pretty well deserved. At first, when we had that first story out there, I think I thought maybe he'd hang on to that spot after his apology. He did come forward. The one thing I will hold to this guy, he did come forward. He apologized. He resolved his first situation with Noah and then more cases came out, more screenshots came out. I think Luminosity was pretty much cornered into kicking this guy. But let's break it down very fast. Again, I'll link the videos down below for all of you if you guys had the full amount of time of 30 minutes to watch the details. I'm going to give you guys a quick summary of his two scams allegedly right now. I think one was definitely circumstantial. One was certainly a scam by him. But let's remember on top of all of this, I know it can be hard for some of you guys to think about this, but he is still a teenager. He is still very young. And at the very least, I hope he takes away from this a very much learning experience and hopefully in the future does not go back and do things like this. Because I know it's very easy to hate the guy. Obviously what he did was very scummy, especially with his first scam with a kid named Noah. If you guys have not seen, I think a very, very well detailed video by the Fortnite guy. Um, it was actually a kid named Noah he met through Minecraft. Ironically enough, it was pretty weird. Both kids he met uh, during these scams, uh, these evidence you guys will actually see, Noah being one, Oliver being the other, he both met them through the Minecraft community. So it's kind of a, a weird way to meet people, but apparently um, a pretty toxic way to do one as well because he set them up for pretty much failure in the future. Him and Noah exchanged messages several times before this. Eventually, they actually swapped out accounts with uh, Creo being paid more for his account uh, by Noah because his account had better skins and more wins. Um, then several times throughout this actual occasion, it was Noah being locked out of the account because it was actually Creo who had sold Noah an account of Creo. It was Creo's friend's account. It was on his own account. So several times it was Noah being locked out, eventually being completely shut out of the account because Creo's friend got sick of account sharing and the money just wasn't worth it. So he eventually did not even get the login information to Creo to give to Noah. And uh, then eventually, of course, that viral video came out and that was what led to the response by Creo, his apology, his coming forth about how, how he did not treat the situation very well. And I thought maybe this could be resolved because he himself actually paid Noah back um, and therefore gave the accounts back. Noah denied the payments. He refunded them and did not take the offer, which was kind of weird. He accepted the apology, but didn't take the payment anyway. So kind of a weird situation there. I thought maybe a recoverable situation, right? Until other evidence came out. Of course, the Discord screenshots, this guy was making fun of people. There's allegations out there of him being a racist and saying some things he should not be saying. And then very lastly, a second story by the Fortnite guy, but a, a bit of a sketchy story. So this kid's not Noah, his name is actually Oliver, also came forward apparently about this after the first viral video, and he also met Creo through Minecraft. Uh, again, oh, I didn't know the community was so strong out there and leading into Fortnite. They actually had a trade of accounts. So they each got an account just previously uh, like Noah and Creo did, but this time it was vice versa. It was actually Creo paying this kid Oliver a bit of extra cash because Oliver's account was better than his, uh, had better skins on his account. Now eventually what it seemed to be was a lot of deleted messages. It's actually the Fortnite guy assuming um, it was Creo scamming this kid because they both agreed to not sell the accounts but very shortly after retrieving the account, it was Creo sending all of her messages, asking for recovery information, making up some circumstantial things, which seemed to lead to the fact he was trying to sell the account and the ownership of that email and so on and so forth, have someone else get access to the account, which made it seem to Oliver that Creo was selling the account, but there were no confirmations of this. There was a lot of assumptions made, a lot of theories made based off this, and of course, based off prior circumstances, a lot of people watching the video just assumed, oh yeah, you know, it must've been Creo scamming the kid, although I will say, 
say, there are many times throughout this conversation, the Fortnite guy says Creo lost his temper instead of spam of messages. When you look at the responses, guys, it looks as if Creo is almost talking to himself or as if Oliver had deleted his responses in between and it makes you wonder why. There are several times throughout the conversations, the video will be linked down below, where it seems that Creo is responding to questions or answers, but those are deleted by Oliver. So it makes you really wonder why was he deleting individual messages out of these conversations. And so for that reason and that reason only, there is no full confirmation that Creo actually did scam another kid known as Oliver. He did scam Noah, so that's enough. That's enough evidence against him that of course is a terrible way to go out. Um, especially of, of an organization you were very deemed in, you were making plenty of money for, but this other uh, allegation is complete assumption. And it did lead to the meme of this guy emailing Oliver's mother, which I will say it did seem a bit weird how it went about, and I'm not saying Creo is fully innocent in this. He could very well be guilty, but all this evidence is circumstantial. There are deleted messages on both sides, and therefore we're only making assumptions. All in all, let's wrap it up there, guys. He did scam a kid named Noah. He may have scammed a kid named Oliver. All of this right around the time he was signed or was knew, was knowing uh, he was known to be signed by Luminosity Gaming, and that in, in itself kind of forced the hand of Luminosity. They finally kicked Creo. Kind of unfortunate for the organization, their their hand was certainly forced. No option here to keep the guy after you see all the responses from the community. I do want to say one thing. It is so easy to hate on this kid. And remember, he as well is still a kid. And I really, truly do hope he learns from this experience, guys. He has since private as a Twitter account, so we really can't see his further responses for now. I will keep you guys posted in the way, way future if he does respond. He was certainly LG's best player in terms of placement. So a huge loss for the org as well. And just an unfortunate circumstance that hopefully he does learn from. And hopefully, uh, well, the, this is all settled in the future and other pro players take this as a warning to not scam people because you will get caught and you certainly make enough money to not want to scam people. But as always, hope you guys all enjoy. My name is Jake. I'll see you all back here tomorrow or sometime soon as a Fortnite patch is on the horizon, but this would be a crazy patch. But as always, I'll be back here breaking it down for all of you as well as any drama out there. And until next time, hope you guys enjoy.